Welcome to the Pet Hui. I'm Denby Dung. This is Stitch Dung. And here's what's coming up in the next half hour. We'll meet Mad Max, who was a bad boy. He bit his neighbor. The law gave him an ultimatum. Learn some manners or he'll be put down. And we'll learn all about the Siamese cat with Malin Moore in It's All About the Breed. We'll head out to Waikiki where we'll check out some surfing dogs, pigs, and even a cat. Is your yacht a minefield? Are the flies driving you crazy? Hi, I'm Allie the Pooh Princess, and I'm cleaning the world of poop one yacht at a time. To have Allie clean your yard, contact her at gotpoo.biz or 497-9273. What's in your backyard? Welcome to the Pet Hui. We're here at the 26th Annual Hawaiian Humane Society Pet Walk, and right behind me is a starting line where all the action is about to happen right now. <laughs> The pet walk has just started and we'll be catching up with all of these wonderful pets throughout the day. But before that, catch our first story. Now let's meet Mad Max. He's been a bad boy. He bit his neighbor and the law wants to put him down. Let's find out if he gets a second chance. So Max's mom and dad reached out to me because Max got himself into a lot of trouble. And we're gonna start his initial training this morning. We're gonna do a little bit of evaluations with him and see exactly where he stands, what his naughty behaviors are and what he needs the most help with so that we can focus his training towards those versus spending time on things we don't really need to focus on. All right, so we're gonna walk up to some of our trainers over here just hanging out, show that Max can actually go around a group of people. He's not gonna be bothered by it. Let's see, does he even care at all? Wanna say hi, bud? Good job, good job. All right, go ahead and stand up. All right, so now they went from a a less threatening position to a more threatening position by standing up and being taller and bigger than him. Ruth still doesn't really seem to care. He's just kind of hanging out. So, all right, guys, you guys want to like space out, and we'll go through the rest of this. Uh, the day that Max got in trouble, they were all outside, and the gate didn't quite shut well. And Max came out of the yard. Here, Max. And Dad and Grandpa and Son were all running around trying to catch him. Um, in the meantime, the neighbor came out and was upset because he is a Rottweiler and they tend to be a scary dog because of their reputation. The neighbor came out and started yelling. Max turned around and ran and bit the neighbor. Whenever they went to court, they were given options. Pay the fine and put the dog down, pay the fine and find the dog a new home, or they could pay the fine and they requested training and the court system actually agreed to allow them to come in training. So that's what Max is gonna be doing with us, is working out his aggression through training and get certified through our training program as having fixed the aggression problem so that Max can continue to live his happy life at home. All right, so I'm gonna walk Max over by one of our first people and throw in one of the scenarios where we're gonna see how he responds to it. Go ahead, he's right by you. Get away from me, get your dog away from me. So she's acting a little bit more fearful trying to get away from him giving some loud voices and throwing her hands up. He doesn't really seem to care. Brian's gonna be a little bit more threatening to see if Max is gonna show any of those aggressive signs. Max. All right, so basically the, ah. all right, so what happened right there is whenever Brian put his hand down on Max's face around his mouth, he didn't really like that and he turned around and he tagged Brian in the hand to let him know, hey buddy, I don't really like that. So this is one of those aggressive behaviors that Max has that we wanna be able to work out of him throughout his two weeks of training. I did something he didn't like uh, and received a notification of that via, uh, via Max here. Um, so there's different levels of aggression with dogs and whatnot um, and that's something he didn't enjoy. Uh, I just kind of pushed his face. He let me do it twice with just a warning. Uh, I came back for one more and he let me know that it was, it was game time. So. So whenever I first start off in the morning, I just like to give them a reminder, let them know, hey, this is what we're doing, we're working today. Um, so just practice their drill, sit down, sit down. I'll have them sit, walk around them, get them used to that, down. So right now I just have him in a down position. I'm getting him used to me walking around him. Just because I'm moving doesn't mean that he can move. So it's called, we're stabilizing his position and letting him know, this is what we want you to do. And then once he holds it for a while, then we release him, Max. Good boy, good boy, good job. In the event that he does have a negative behavior, he does something naughty like jumps or gets out of his position or barks or growls, then we use the e-collar. Um, it's a muscle stimulation tool that lets me communicate with him to let him know that, hey, that's unacceptable, that's not right, um, that's, you know, fix this problem. And then we go right back into having him hold his position and then he gets praised at the end of it because that was very hard for him. Break. 
Good boys, Max. Okay, so here comes a dog. So it's gonna test Max out. Hi, good morning, ladies. Um, I see your pup's off leash. He's in training right now. I just don't want him to run up on the Rottweiler. So in the event that Max does a naughty behavior right now with this distraction coming by, this is the remote that we use. Example here, Max sits. I push one button and it communicates with him through muscle stimulations in low levels to let him know that he needs to sit back down in his position. Okay, so I'll show you an example on how it works. Max, down. Down. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. One push of the button, it sends a low level stimulation to his neck where the collar is secured, um, letting him know that, hey, we need to pay attention. You need to do what you need to do. And it's just a matter of communicating with him in another means that's been super awesome and beneficial for Max. So today's a really big day for Max. He's going to go home for his first time after his 14 day training program with us. He did come for our board and train. Uh, he did the special on-leash version specifically catered to Max. Uh, we're headed out to Capulani Park right now to do a little bit of practice and meet up with his family and go over everything we're going to need to go over so that they can continue to practice with him over the next week and a half. Uh, and then we're going to get Max back for a little bit longer and do some more socialization training and his training is just going to continue to be an ongoing process to get him on the right path. Go say hi to your mom. His mom's here now and he's going to get ready to go oh, home. So good, First mom. portion of our training is to train mom how to use the remote in the collar system. This is the collar the remote um, system. Comes in the box, so you get to keep the box. Don't worry so about Max's it. mom is going to have Max back home for about two weeks. Uh, she's now got the tools to continue training and practicing with him to get him on and continue on the right path. Max has the tools and the foundation established to be successful. So at this point, it's going to be up to Max's mom and the time and dedication um, and how much practice her and Max get in over this next two weeks to see where he's at. Attention Hawaii, log on to AlohaKia.com to see amazing savings on all Kia cars at Aloha Kia's Black Friday Internet Sales Event. You get to see special online internet prices and savings before you come to see us. It's Aloha Kia's Black Friday Internet Sales Event, going on all month long. Log on to AlohaKia.com. 2016 Kia Rio, buy now at $14,970. 2016 Kia Soul, buy now at $14,970 or $88 a month. 2016 Kia Forte, buy now at $16,670. Drive a 2016 Kia Optima for $98 a month. AlohaKia.com. See ya in a Kia. Courteous, knowledgeable staff and a pet-friendly atmosphere make the Pet Holly Hawaii's neighborhood pet store. Locally owned and operated in the Melilani Shopping Center, the Pet Holly offers thousands of pet products and dozens of hand-raised pets from our family to yours. From finches to greenway macaws, from guinea pigs to large breed puppies, our store is home to pet lovers of all ages. Open Monday through Saturday 10 to 8 and Sunday 10 to 6. Find us on Facebook and online at thepetholly.com. The folks at VCA Kaneohe Animal Hospital know how important your pets are. With that in mind, we will be extending our hours for emergencies until 10 p.m. Our caring staff is available for surgery seven days a week. Come see any one of our qualified veterinarians, including our newest team member, Dr. Marin Nakasone. We are always looking to extend our family and are taking new client referrals for board-certified internal medicine at our Pearl City location. Living in Hawaii, you need the best, and WeatherTech floor mats from Wetokoli are the perfect choice. When those unfortunate accidents happen and your plate lunch goes to the floor, WeatherTech mats will be there to protect and they're easy to clean. Deep channels trap water, dirt, mud, and sand, and they're available for hundreds of makes and models, so no matter what you drive, you'll find the perfect fit. WeatherTech floor mats, find them at Wetokoli on Dillingham, just Eva of Kalihi Street. Welcome back to the Pet Hui. Here at the 26th Annual Hawaiian Humane Society Pet Walk, there are dogs dressed in costumes ranging from scary to funny. But there is a serious mission to this event. For many years, the Hawaiian Humane Society has been helping our island's pets. They provide services ranging from spay and neutering, medical care, and community outreach. All of the proceeds from today's event helps the Hawaiian Humane Society in their mission to keep Hawaii's pets healthy and safe. Here's our next story. Hey gang, Pet Detective Alpha Dog. My mission is to reunite pets with their families. 
You know, and whether they're furry or whether they got wings or whatever, if they got scales, we try to help get these family members back together. Now, today we're out at the McKing and McCulley area and we're looking for a seven-year-old cockatiel named Peanut. Let's go find out more information. Hey, Val. Nice to meet you. I'm Pet Detective Alpha Dog. I want to get some information on your bird. After talking with Bill, this is what I found out. We're looking for a lost bird named Peanut. She's a seven-month-old female yellow cockatiel. The wings are not clipped, which means she can fly anywhere. She is very tame and very friendly, and there is a reward for her safe return. This is how it happened. It was Saturday, October 22nd, around 8.30 p.m. at this building here on the sixth floor. When the owner returned home, as he opened the front door of his apartment, Peanut flew out. He immediately went looking for Peanut, but was unsuccessful. There have been no sightings of this very colorful cockatiel, and Bill loves his birds, and he's heartbroken over Peanut's escape from this apartment. Yes, I miss Peanut very much. Me and my wife would love to have her back. We were very devastated. And she took off our, uh, out of the sixth floor of the Pumahana building. We would like to have a home for the holidays, and please bring her home. If you see her, call this number, 808-465-5168. There is a reward. She was hand-fed since, since she hatched from the egg, the one hour, and we missed it desperately. We, she, she just, she's as friendly, she thinks she's human. She, she just, she's as friendly as you can get. And, uh, we miss it desperately. Once again, here are the facts. We're looking for Peanut. She's a seven-month-old female yellow cockatiel. Her wings are not clipped. She's tame and friendly. Now, there is a reward for her return. Let's try to get Peanut home safely. Again, this is Pet Detective Alpha Dog saying leash them or lose them unless they have wings. made for everyday life by What O'Coli. We're here at the Hawaiian Humane Society Pet Walk where hundreds of people are walking their dogs. Or are they? We're going to find out now who's walking who. Are you walking your dog or is your dog walking you? She's walking me. <laughs> She's walking me. We're wondering, are you walking your dog or is your dog walking you? Uh, my dog's walking me. <laughs> and is that always the case? This is, yeah. This is actually my son's dog. So this is my grand dog. And yes, he's walking me. <laughs> Look at him go. The dogs are always walking us. A little bit of both. He'll walk the first half, he'll walk the second half. Uh, she's walking me. Normally she walks me. <laughs> right now he's walking us. All right, are you walking your dog? Is your dog walking you? Oh, Roxy is walking me. This is Roxy. <laughs> is that always the case? Yes. <laughs> Who's walking who? You know, most of the time I walk Orion or Roxy, but sometimes they walk me. When they walk by a fire hydrant or a telephone pole and they smell something, they take me over there. So my unscientific conclusion is that people are being walked by their dogs. See, you have a lot in common. <laughs> now here's our next story. Now let's learn all about the Siamese cat with Malin Moore in It's All About the Breed. Today, it's all about the Siamese cat. The Siamese cat originated in Thailand, which used to be Siam, and there are two versions. The original breed, which is known as a Thai cat, and the modern Siamese cat, which was bred from the Thai cat. They're sometimes called measers. The Thai cat has features that are considered old style, with a more rounded head and body than the modern Siamese, which has a triangular head shape, large ears, and an elongated muscular body and coloration at its points. The original Thai cat is a very old breed and is thought to have been around since the 14th century. It's been mentioned in literature throughout history, but became mainstream when it was introduced to England in the late 1800s. Breeding to establish desired characteristics resulted in the Siamese that we know today. But the International Cat Association and other cat organizations recognize both the Siamese and the Thai cat. The markings of the Siamese are quite interesting. The pointed pattern is caused by a mutated enzyme that is heat sensitive. 
which means that the parts of the cat's body that are cooler develop the darker coloration, like the ears and face. The distinctive coloration starts appearing several weeks after birth and gets darker as the cat ages. Siamese cats living in warm climates have lighter coats than those who live in cold climates. The colorations include seal point, blue point, chocolate point, and lilac point. All Siamese have blue eyes. Siamese cats are very intelligent and affectionate and are one of the few breeds that will fetch objects like dogs. They want to be near people or other cats and are known to fall into depression if left alone for long periods of time. Breeders like to sell them in pairs so they keep each other company. The lifespan of a Siamese, unfortunately, is shorter than other breeds. The median lifespan is between 10 and 12 and a half years. As for health problems, many Siamese suffer from mammary tumors and urinary tract infections. Asthma and bronchial disease, as well as heart problems, are also common. They're also often cross-eyed, a condition related to the enzyme that causes their point coloration, but they focus just fine. Siamese are considered easy to groom. They shed less than other breeds. Their personality is distinctive in the cat world. Not only do they fetch, but they're also talkative and opinionated. They're socially demanding, and anyone considering a Siamese must be willing to spend more time with them than with other breeds. Siamese are best as house cats. If allowed to go outdoors, they're susceptible diseases, just like other cats. But Siamese can also be the victims of being stolen by people who want a beautiful cat without paying for it. If you're considering a Siamese, keep in mind the personality traits. They love to talk, they love to interact, and they love to be with you all the time. And consider getting a pair. They'll be much happier with someone to play with when you run out of steam. And now you know all about the Siamese cat. They say the older you get, the wiser. I say the newer you look, the smarter. The Mini has grown up. Introducing the newest Mini, the hardtop four-door. Double the doors and classy, sophisticated, intelligent, and very cool. Or check out the Countryman, Mini's other four-door. Plus the true original, the Mini hardtop two-door. All of this, plus Mini's boot to bonnet, no cost, three year, 36,000 mile maintenance. Mini of Hawaii, all grown up. Every day in Hawaii, animals are mistreated, abandoned, or simply neglected and forgotten. For many of them, the Oahu SPCA is their last hope. At Oahu SPCA, we are committed to a no kill promise. Here, animals in need receive medical care, shelter, love, and help in finding a forever home. How can you help? Please adopt one of our animals. Use our low-cost veterinary and spay-neuter services. Be a responsible pet owner. And make a donation so that we can do more life-saving work. Help us to reduce euthanasia and give these animals a chance for a better life. All it takes is a monthly or a one-time donation to Oahu SPCA. Please visit us at our new shelter and find your new best friend, the Oahu SPCA, because every life is precious. socialization, or just a nail trim, Tales of Hawaii is here for you. Give us a call at 676-9663. Your dog is our best friend at Tales of Hawaii. If your cat is constantly causing trouble, always on the prowl, kitty, 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 kitty. and never comes when called, you need a can of Regionals Cat Food. Biologically appropriate food that contains fresh meat, poultry, fish, and game that's rich in protein, low in carbs, and entirely grain-free for a balanced diet. How will your cat act? Well, they'll still cause trouble and they'll never come when called, but you can be sure they're healthy and enjoying the best food available. A can of Regionals, exceptional food for your cat. Welcome back to the Pet Hui. We are extremely excited because we have three-time world champion Carissa Moore here with us. Carissa, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us who we have here. Uh, this is my dog Tuffy. Um, he's 
a bit of terrier and a little bit of black lab. Um, he's he's a great dog, and we're really excited to be at the pet walk today at Magic Island. It's both of our first time, and it's really cool to see all the owners and their pets come out for a beautiful morning. Well, we are thrilled that you are here, and thank you so much for supporting pet adoption. Thanks. <laughs> now back to our show. We'll head out to Waikiki, where we'll check out some surfing dogs, pigs, and even a cat. So we're here at the uh, Kono's restaurant going to the dog surfer competition. It's the second annual surfer competition at Duke's Ocean Fest down here in Waikiki Beach. Yeah, hey, my name is uh, Griff Blissett. This is Cosmo. He's eight years old. He's a Tibetan Terrier. And uh, we surf tandem. We surf a lot. We uh, usually are over at Kaiser's or Bowls. And, uh, we're out here having fun today. Hopefully he does well. Aloha, I'm Ashley. This is Kui. He's an Australian Shepherd. He's one and a half years old. He <laughs> is a rookie this year. Been surfing for about a year now. He's from the Big Island. He's named after our favorite bartender, Kui, here at the Royal Hawaiian, and we're gonna be tandem surfing today. Tales of Hawaii is sponsoring our two surf buddies. We have Kupukea, who's a rescue dog, and he's named after the beach he was found on, so I think he has surfing in his heart. And this here is Hina, Hina's also, also a rescue dog. So with the recent Olympics that we've watched in Rio, we know that training is really important. So we've been working hard at our swimming pool at Tales of Hawaii to get these guys to be agile in the water and they're going to sweep the surf contest today. Hi, I'm Michael and this is Avi, the Guinness World Record surfing dog from San Diego. And we are here in Oahu for Duke's Ocean Fest, gone to the dog surfing contest. So, Avi is unique because she rides solo on her board and this is her custom board. Um, we've been doing it in the mainland for about nine years now and She's the oldest, longest competing surf dog and the most awarded surf dog. Uh, so it's a pleasure to come out here to the islands and surf with all the people out here. Coming to Hawaii to surf is always a pleasure. Last year was her first time surfing with a pig, was Kama, and Kama is back again this year. But there's a cat, so this will be the first time surfing with a cat as well. Hi, right, this is Luna. She's a female Jack Russell Terrier. Uh, she's going to be 11 in exactly two months from today. Uh, she's my adventure dog. I brought her back from France and yeah, we've been the best friends forever. She does everything we need. Yeah, aloha everybody. How's it going? Here we are at the Duke Fest with the Wave Hog himself, Kama the Surfing Pig, his Kama Tree that is, and Kitty the Surfing Cat, Kama Sidekick. <laughs> uh, these two love to train them together. Just get on the wave, party wave. Every wave is a party wave. Um, Kitty, born and raised Waimanalo. We found him at the beach as a little baby. He'd go out, catch his own fish. We didn't even have to feed him for a while. He was <laughs> himself. <For> real. <laughs> and then they just grew up together. They play together, surf together, beach together, school together, movies together, <laughs> camping together, everything. Oh. <laughs> the dynamic duo right here. Watch out for these two, Wave Hog and Kitty coming through. Hey, aloha. I'm Rocky Cannon, and uh, these are my two dogs here. This is Kohuna. He's uh, a mixed breed from the Humane Society, actually, a rescue dog. And uh, he's uh, part shepherd and hound, uh, as far as I know. Uh, this is Hina right here, and she's um, uh, about three and a half years old. She was from a, a free puppies ad on Craigslist, and uh, she's a pit bull lab mix. She gets mistaken for a Weimaraner a lot, which I tell her is a compliment because those are expensive dogs. And we got in the same heat as the surfing pig, as Kama. And I didn't realize how uh, they would react to the, to the pig. And Kahuna here actually jumped off the board and went swimming after the pig. I think that's going for some bacon because they look kind of hungry. And uh, found out that there was a cat on board too. So he was like, Kalua pig or Manapua? Gotta watch out for those wave dogs too. They be jumping out just like a big 
big uh, Three Stooges out there. <laughs> but it was all really good fun. The contest today consists of three heats, about five animals in each heat. Uh, they're 20 minutes long. Uh, it's out here at Baby Queen's Surf Break, so um, you know, pretty close for everybody to watch. Yeah, super fun in the sun here with all the surfing animals. There's a zoo out there. <laughs> Cats, dogs, hogs, shit, you got them all. A wave hog coming through. It's comedy out there. We're at the surf contest today and with Poi Dogs Popoki and the Big Fix. All of the proceeds and donations are going towards Poi Dogs and Popoki and uh, we're grateful that they invited us today. If you think your dog should be surfing with us next year, go to dukesoceanfest.com, uh, get some information on the surfer competition, uh, follow us on Instagram and look at all the photos and hopefully we'll see you on the beach next year with your dog, pig, cat, rabbit, you name it. Zane Style House, styling the life you live. Affordable pieces that transition easily through every occasion in your life. From running to pick up the kids, to everyday stylish casual, to that perfect date night, Zane Style House has the perfect outfit for you. Cute, comfy, and fashionable. Zane Style House, styling the life you live. Find us on Facebook and Instagram.